Brooklyn Independent Television. So, if you stop by the music program at the Brooklyn College Art Lab, you're likely to find teaching artist slash music producer, Introfide, guiding the gifts of Brooklyn's most talented youth. Now, whether creating original songs for their upcoming albums or honing their musical skills, these students have a lot to offer the music community. We stopped by for a look and to have a listen. One, two, three, go. Tell me where to go. You can know me as Intifad, the God of Sound, and I am a producer extraordinaire, also teacher. I teach music production over at the Brooklyn College Community Partnership and BCAL, specifically the, um, the arts lab, but I teach the um, creative and recording experience, and also the creative and recording process. My name is Isaac Russell. I go by Azar. I'm 17 years old. Can you hear yourself in the headphones? Yeah, just a little, but I just hear my, All right, I yeah, hear my yeah. echo. Yeah, you was going off. Hold on. All right, cool. Well, producing, I first started producing um, a while back with an old band I was in. We was using kind of similar stuff that I use here. I just took it from there, and ever since I found this place, I just never left. Participants come to various high schools all over Brooklyn. A lot of them are very creative and expressive beings, and they come here to participate in the various activities, like recording, which I teach is recording, and the music technology. All right? And they, they learn how to work with each other, and I put them in three basic um, roles, producer, artist, and engineer, and everybody fit in that role. Um, and, um, and they all start participating, they, they get online and they, and they interact with, the, with Ms. Page and learn about college access and we promote, we promote and encourage them to go to college and actually help them with the process. I work with Introfied not as much now because I'm involved with an internship, another, that's a whole other thing that BCAL is geared toward, toward college prep. But um, back in the day, the good old days, I was working with Interfied three days a week, playing on Saturdays in the studio with my friends at Community. It was great. Since coming here, I've learned how to, number one, the big thing I've learned is how to work with other people and how to compromise also, and how to collaborate with different people also. I attend Brooklyn College Academy High School and they encouraged us to come here as a part as a part of our extracurricular activities because they offer so many good things here such as scholarship information, college information, um, enrolling in college, just kind of just staying off the streets and just participating in something that's productive. What I've learned is actually learning how to break away from this idea of being selfish. Like I write my music and I always feel as if like I don't want anybody to critique me and I've actually learned how to accept criticism in a positive way and just be able to use that as something constructive and being able to alter my works with that um, information. I'm glad to see Enified when I come here because first of all, he's really nice. He lets us express ourselves, like he doesn't limit us and he doesn't put a lot of restrictions on us so we have a lot of free space to do what we want to do. This is one of the things that I love most is when I come here, I'm actually, I precede myself when I come here because I get here before I get here. And I actually, it's like one of the few jobs I've had experience where I actually love coming here and working with the kids. Thinking about my interaction with the kids and I'm in, and, th and thinking about the projects because we got so much, we do so much work. And when I come here, they always to say, Mr. Intify, you're coming in late. And they're actually there an hour early before I get there. And I love coming in the studio and being creative. It's there me, you know, 20 years ago, you know. So, you know, and, and actually advanced because I didn't have Pro Tools at 15. So, I, you know, I love interacting with them. And it's just not a problem. It's so easy, you know, sometimes. Music was always, always a part of me. But when I came here, I've learned, I've learned, you know, to humble myself. I've learned the different aspects of producing, of songwriting, 
of how to, you know, keep a session stable instead of everyone, you know, just going crazy. I learned how to, like, not me produce it, actually. I'm getting the energies from everybody around the room. It was always a part of me, but I've learned so much more coming here. It's really amazing when you see a bunch of artists coming together, and sometimes it can get a little self-centered. I mean, you know that's what happens when there's a bunch of artists and everybody wants to be the best, but ultimately I try to think about it like, I try to think about it as if I were older than myself, or as if I could, if I had knowledge beyond my actual years and see like um, all these specific youth, and the majority of them are African American, and to see like like the evolution and like talent and all this. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.